And now, without further ado, my top 10 worst things of 2010. Number one, Conan vs. Leno. Lest we forget the great Tonight Show conflict of 2010. On January 7th, NBC announced the movement of the Jay Leno show from 10 p.m. to 11.35 p.m., shifting the Conan O'Brien show to 12.05 due to poor ratings. People were furious. And with almost unanimous support from other late night hosts, Conan departed the show on January 22nd. Conan returned with a blimp and a new show on TBS on November 8th. I'm with Coco. Number two, the Haiti earthquake. Not even a fortnight into the year, a 7.0 earthquake hit Port-au-Prince, causing an overwhelming amount of damage, leaving over 200,000 people dead, 300,000 people injured, and over a million people homeless. Relief efforts were initially strong, though there is still great devastation in the region, and so many Haitian people remain unprotected, seeking refuge with little being done to rebuild the city. Number three, the volcano in Iceland. On March 20th, 2010, Iyagnujan had its first eruption in 200 years. 500 people were forced to leave their homes due to the ash fall, but the main damage came to the air travel industry, which experienced its worst disturbance in history. Tourists were stranded, Iceland was isolated, and still nobody could pronounce the name of it. Number four, the BP oil spill. An accident on site of a drilling rig on April 20th left 11 dead and 17 injured. The rig sank off the coast of Louisiana and remained uncapped until July 15th, placing 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. If BP survives bankruptcy, its brand will have been tarnished for decades. Media coverage went into overkill, but since summer, it seems like we've kind of forgotten about it. I guess there are enough other bad things to talk about. Robert Greene's FIFA World Cup fail, for example. A personal disappointment here, not only did England get knocked out of the World Cup early on in the tournament, but we suffered one of the biggest embarrassments from it. For England's opening match against the US on June 12th, keeper Robert Greene was selected to start. After a 1-0 lead, Greene sadly failed to save a shot from Clint Dempsey. The ball bounced off his gloves and over the goal line. Green was benched and ridiculed in the media. We take our football seriously, guys. Number six, Mel Gibson. In July 2010, Mel Gibson was dropped by his agency upon the leaking of audio recordings of his racist, sexist, and downright abusive phone calls with Oksana Grigorieva. He also faces allegations of domestic violence. Mel's had a rough few years since the good old days of Lethal Weapon, but his acting career deserves a turnaround. And in spring 2011, he'll be making a comeback in the Beaver. Copiapo mining accident. On August 5th, 2010, there was a cave-in at the San Jose Copper Gold Mine in Chile. 33 men were trapped 700 feet below ground and survived for an amazing 69 days before being winched to the surface, live on television on October 13th with a billion people watching. All 33 miners were in fine medical condition, beyond a little emotional scarring and some relationship problems. The Gap logo revamp. Fiasco. Iconic American denim manga Gap revealed a new logo, their first in many years, on October 4th of 2010, to the utter amazement and disgust of the internets. The logo was short-lived and Gap reinstated the old logo about a week later. The change certainly generated a lot of buzz for the company. It has even been questioned whether the logo was in fact just a publicity stunt. TSA Body Scanners In November 2010, the Transportation Security Administration initiated mandatory screenings of all airline passengers to public outrage. People who refuse to be screened have been receiving extensive pat-downs, and there have been many cases of abuse in the system, including complaints of privacy invasion and harassment. Personally, if the full body scans make flying even a little bit safer, I don't mind a stranger seeing a blurry grayscale image of me along with thousands of other people. Number 10, North Korea. What the fuck? There were so many disasters and disputes this year that caused uproar and discussion across the globe. What were some of the most stimulating events of the year for you? Here's hoping we have better things to talk about in 2011. I'm Molly, and this is Rocket Boom.